What's going on? This is Donnie, and right now we're going to do a uh, member hand history review. Um, from the player we're reviewing is Menub AA. I don't know if that's pronounced right, but uh, it's a heads up, one, two, no limit session. Um, we're going to try to go over the big hands, but we're going to go through everything. Uh, well, hopefully, the small hands will get through pretty quickly so we can uh, make sure we put enough time into the, uh, the really big significant hands. So I'm just going to get it started right here. So obviously that's pretty standard fold with Jack 2 suited from the big blind. Once again, pretty standard. That's the bit. Pretty much so far everything's good. Mm. Alright, now that's a bit of a tough spot. I mean, that's really right on the border of whether you should be calling or not. Um, with 9, 10 diamonds, with 100 big blinds. I think, overall, I do think it's a call. But I'm not going to really criticize somebody for making that fold, especially when you don't know your opponent that well. Um, especially also because it's, it's, uh, it's lower stakes, it's 1-2. So quite often, the players you're playing is really don't re-raise light. Um, so you're almost always going to be up against big hand. So with that said, you know, I think it's reasonable, but I probably would call. I don't like uh, re-raising just 3x your opponent's raise. So when they make it 6, you really should be making it 20 or 21 or 22 there at 1-2. Uh, Making it 18 gives them basically good odds to call with far too many hands. Gives gives you know sets up a sort of reverse implied odd situation for yourself. You really want to... Uh, charge them a bit more to be calling there, um, especially because they, you know, they have the natural advantage there being in position. You want to, you definitely want to make them pay a little bit more um, to be calling there, and uh, it's just, they can call profit with far too many hands when you make it only 18. So, so far, most of these hands seem to be pretty straightforward. Um, hopefully, we'll get something a little bit more complicated. Now, obviously, that's a fold with the T3 suited. Um, now I'm not going to really say anything beyond that about that hand, but just, you know, I, I think it's pretty reasonable to start off a session early on with maybe a 4-bet um, in that sort of spot. You get it, it helps, you know, make the, uh, you know, I think a lot of problems that, that lower six players have, um, when you play against them, they'll, you know, you, you'll show a lot of upfront aggression like, cr pretty quick, and then they'll, they'll basically make the conclusion that you're, you know, that you're, you're bluffing a lot, or uh, that you're sort of getting out of line more than they necessarily should.